Good morning, YouTube. Today's adventure is just a quick review. The HP 15-DC-0051NR one year later review. About 12 months ago, I realized with my job sending me all over God's green earth and having little to no time to play games or edit while at home with my desktop that I needed a new laptop as my old one could not even run esports titles and would absolutely chug if I tried to run my editing software. So after some searching, I bought this HP Omen laptop from Micro Center on sale for a pretty good price, $790, compared to the $1,400 original retail price. I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, what with it being close to 50% off and the reputation that HP had developed in my group of tech buddies. I was expecting to have a bad time, or at the very least, were to not perform up to the standard you'd expect out of the kit that was inside of it. But, I've got to say, I've been very pleasantly surprised. It has handled every game I've thrown at it, though a few games have had to be dropped down to lower settings. It's even been fine for the editing I do on the road. Not as good as my tower at home, mind you, but still more than usable. Really, the only complaint is that the screen and webcam is not as high-end as I would have liked, but I knew that going in. Frankly, a laptop with an Intel i7 8750H with a dedicated NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics card, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes SSD boot drive, and a one terabyte hard drive, all for $790 that I spent is nothing to sneeze at. Even if I could have done with a larger SSD instead of the hard drive, it has taken care of me for this whole last year. It's got decent I.O. as well, but it is missing a few things I would have liked on a $1,400 laptop, but again, with it being knocked down to $790, it was actually a good deal. As it is, I would suggest going back in time to tell myself to buy this one again. And looking forward from what I'm seeing of the current HP Omen brand computers that are coming out, they are likely to be the same. Missing features at the 1200 to 1400 price range, but a real good deal if you can catch them on sale. If you liked this video, please give it a like or drop a comment below. If you'd like to see me try to upgrade this laptop for further uh, usability, please let me know. I'm probably going to be doing those. Also, if you like the journal type of stuff I do here, please give me a subscribe. Also, real cool note, I've been using RTX Voice uh, to try to get a better audio quality. Let me know how that worked out on your guys' end. Uh, I'm going to keep messing around with different mics, different software, and a different work in, uh, recording environment. Uh, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and if you want, I'll make a video dedicated to getting the RTX voice working on a 1060 and a uh, 1650, uh, along with the audio I'm feeding into it and everything else. Frankly, some of my recording places are very loud, and I know you guys have not been appreciating some of the background noise. I am working on it. Just give me some time, and I will make it all better, or at least as far better as I can. Thanks. Have a good one.